Palantir is officially taking steps into Canada. Uh, you know, there's a lot to manage. A lot of reputation management is a big thing here. Hello, hello, everyone. Welcome to my channel, The Bliss Life. Today, I'm just going to give you a quick update on Palantir's move into Canada. Palantir to build supply chain resiliency platform solutions with Canadian partners. Now, what's big here is they're not explicitly stating it, but this partnership is between a Canadian government affiliated entity, a public company, publicly traded company that's involved in automotive manufacturing and supply chain. And the third is with a startup company that sells massive, massive catalogs of data to customers to allow them to make their best decisions. Now, we look at the details, uh, total funding by the next generation manufacturing Canada. This is the Canadian government entity. So the Canadian government created an initiative to encourage innovation and the next generation manufacturing Canada is that legal entity. It's a non-for-profit operated by the Canadian government and they have a specific cluster called the advanced manufacturing cluster, the advanced manufacturing super cluster. And that division announced that it's going to spend $8 million uh, in collaborative funding. So that means between all the partners that are involved in this initiative, including 3.5 million in co-funding from NGEN. So that means the government is putting 3.5 million into this deal. And then there's uh, 4.5 million that's coming from the partners that are involved in the Canada's advanced manufacturing supercluster. So what does our minister here say? At a time when the world's supply chains are under pressure, this is exactly the type of project that will help Canada remain at the forefront in terms of resilience, reliability, and innovation said the Honorable Francois-Philippe Champagne, Minister of Innovation, Science and Industry. The partnerships developed through Canada's innovation superclusters, such as the one between ThinkData, Palantir and Martin Ria, will continue to flourish in the years to come and provide economic prosperity and thousands of well-paying jobs across the country. So the partnership, like I said before, this is the startup ThinkData, Palantir Canada and Martin Ria, that's the automotive and supply chain uh, company that's publicly traded. As the global supply chain crisis continues to dominate as a critically disruptive factor for every business operating in 2022 and beyond, this solution will enable an organization to introduce a digital representation of their supply chain and combine it with com global supply chain events data and alternative supplier catalogs from Think Data's external data management software. Working with Martin Ria, the solution will enable a centralized overview of Martin Ria's supply chain operations. So this is the tester prediction of and alerting to potentially disruptive events, recommending mitigation actions, and ultimately providing preventing production delays. Why is Martin Ria doing this? Because Martin Ria got screwed big time in 2021 and in 2020, because of COVID, they've been hit badly because of the ship shortages. And they deal with big firms that have a supply chain that needs to be fed on time. If these different supply chains aren't being fed by these companies, then ultimately the car waiting at the workstation at the Tesla factory or at the Ford factory is not going to get built because some clown down the supply chain in Canada didn't get the part on time and didn't feed it to Tesla or Ford. Uh, so that's why Martin Ria really needs to be able to anticipate these issues, to react quickly and to be able to feed their customers the right type of data. So this is exciting because Palantir is getting involved with this firm in Canada and Canada is a very, very important 
player in the automotive industry. We have hundreds of millions of uh, exports to the US for manufacturing purposes, for auto manufacturing. So we're an important partner to a lot of the big uh, automotive firms in the States. So I'm thinking Tesla, Ford, Daimler. I'm not even, I'm not sure if I'm saying it right. So if this use case with Martin Rhea, which is partially being funded by the industry itself and the Canadian government proves to be successful, then it's gonna start having a ripple effect with all of the suppliers. And if all of the Canadian suppliers are uh, using this software for their supply chain purposes, it will ultimately down the line have a huge impact on the profitability and the sales of Palantir if more players in the ecosystem are using this specialized foundry software. Let's go back here. As the global supply chain crisis continues to dominate as critically disruptive factors for every business operating in 2022 and beyond, this solution will enable any organization to introduce a digital representation of their supply chain and combine it with global supply chain events, data, and alternative manufacturing catalogs from Think Data's external management software. Working with Martin Ria, the solution will enable a centralized overview of Martin Ria's supply chain operations, prediction of and alerting to potentially disruptive events, recommending mitigation actions, and ultimately prevent production delays. So, you know, uh, this is not a joke. Like, don't forget, there's Black Sky, there's Astrocast, there's all kinds of satellites in the sky under Palantir's meta constellation. So if components are being fabricated in, you know, China, Spain, wherever in this world, and it's on its way to Canada to be put together to eventually go towards the States, then all of this can be factored. You know, if there's any issues, then Martin Ria can react quickly. If the boat is delayed somewhere because of a lineup of boats at the port uh, waiting clearance, then it would be automatically signaled to Martin Ria, like, okay, your parts are going to be late by three days. Contact your buyer at Tesla and let them know. Contact your buyer at Ford and let them know that there's going to be a three day delay and they can use, they should get ready to use their parts that they have on reserve. So, this is the type of situation I see where it's going to be fully integrated. The perspectives go far beyond the initial use case. We think, we think data, Martin Ria, and Palantir want to transform the way manufacturing companies operate by making it possible for them to not only react better and faster to global events that impact the supply chain, but to begin to predict these type of events before they even happen, said Brian Smith, CEO of Think Data. The value manufacturers and supply chain dependent businesses will unlock through the solution will be life altering using AI to analyze your complex supply chain alongside global events data through the solution will make organizations feel as though they took the red pill in the matrix. They will wake up with a much deeper knowledge and understanding than they ever thought was possible. All right, that's a big statement. At Martin Ria, Megan Hunter, Executive VP of Procurement Supply Chain Ops, expects to unlock more than 40 million of estimated annual value from avoided disruptions, realized savings, and operations optimization. You know, I worked at a manufacturing facility where we used to have a lot of workstations that were pending parts from our suppliers. And for every day we were late, I was the guy who would be chasing ops and telling them, okay, how many days was it late? I need you to feed me the hours. Tell me how many people were sitting around doing nothing. And then I'll turn around and I'll charge my supplier $100 an hour for being late. If we were late, parts were late for three days and I had guys doing nothing on the floor for a hundred hours, then I would say, okay, well, a hundred hours at a uh, hundred dollars a pop, you need to issue me a credit on the next invoice. And that's, that adds up quickly for manufacturers who have deals with automakers across the U S if parts are always late, it's costing money. And not only that, it's burning bridges with your customers. Supply chain challenges affect not only delivery times and financial margins, but as seen during the pandemic have a real life day-to-day -day impact for all Canadians. We are very excited to develop this platform in collaboration with Think Data and Palantir Canada and to solve concrete problems through digital innovation. Martin Tria, Martin Ria, Think Data and Palantir Canada will make the supply chain resiliency platform available for all Canadian manufacturers to unlock similar value. Canadian manufacturers can leverage the underlying data foundation to rapidly develop, test, and deploy applications and AI models to be shared 
or monetize within the industry. So this could be very, very, very fruitful for Palantir Canada, Think Data, and Martin Ria because they're going to develop the solution together, but then they're going to allow others to use it. Obviously, nothing comes for free. I think there's going to be a premium to use it or a licensing fee, but it's not going to be a proprietary secret technology that they just keep to themselves. They're going to make it available to all Canadian manufacturing firms, which kind of echoes the sentiment of the Canadian government and the Next Gen Initiative to make sure that all Canadian manufacturers can tap into the innovation and yield value, you know, create value. We are excited to be part of this initiative with Martyria and Think Data Works, said David McLaughlin, president of Palantir Canada. Palantir has helped some of the world's most complex organizations transform their supply chain operations with positive industry impacts. We are eager to collaborate with the Canadian startup and a leading industry company and leverage our unique expertise to benefit Canadians and Canadian companies. Palantir Software has, trans has helped transform the way organizations operate by creating a central operating system for their data. And it's currently being used in over 40 industries and sectors worldwide to reduce errors in manufacturing, improve the safety of vehicles, and more. Aside from the current supply chain crisis, the Resilience Platform will leverage the Data Foundation and Palantir Foundry application, building tools to enable rapid prototyping and innovation to help the manufacturing industry solve challenges urgently as they arise. This initiative highlights NGEN's focus on enabling transformative advanced manufacturing products, said Jason Myers, CEO of NGEN, Canadian owned entity, Canadian government owned entity. By using proven underlying technologies, the project will enable the industry to innovate, test hypotheses, and deploy solutions to pressing challenges faster than ever before supporting digitalization and ensuring the future crisis can be met head-on. This project is funded by NGEN under Canada's Innovation Supercluster Initiative. To date, NGEN has approved 135 projects with 306 partners, investing $209 million of supercluster funding and leveraging $515 million in total project investment. NGEN investments have led to $305 million in new R&D investments by industry, created 50 new companies, supported 63 new products, and the creation of 200 new IP assets and subsequent licensing opportunities for engine members. Who dares, who wins? Oh, I love this tagline. Palantir Technologies builds and deploys operating systems for the modern enterprise. Who dares, wins? That's great. So this is the super cluster video. I mean, I saw it before, you know, so you guys can see it's legit. You know, I'm not making things up. It's on the government in Canada website. Uh, and in it, they talk about super cluster. Boom. So this is the uh, sector that impacts Palantir manufacturing super cluster. So where we fight diseases like Canada leukemia, I mean, I guess that this is involved in manufacturing or science, but they, this sector, this super cluster is what Palantir is getting its money from along with Think Data and uh, Martin Ria to develop Palantir's Foundry slash Think Data software. All right, so there you have it. So the supercluster is really legit and Palantir is involved in the manufacturing supercluster. I did want to run through Martin Ria's product portfolio and, you know, quickly skim through their investors presentation for Q3 earnings. So the key takeaway for me is let's first highlight what they do. So they're involved in lightweight structures, propulsion systems. You know, they do a little bit of everything that that rolls into a car. Lightweight structures are, you know, steel, aluminum, multi-material, a bunch of different parts, subcomponents. Great propulsion systems. So, you know, a lot of different things here. They're already involved in EVs. So these are the EVs in their platform, in their portfolio right now. So they're involved with the Ford Mach-E. Very nice car. Uh, the GM EV Hummer, uh, the Tesla Model Y, the Audi PPE, Samsung with their battery trace. So they're involved a bit in a bit of everything there. Boom. Okay. Highlights of new business awards. So uh, Martin Ria did win awards with, uh, again, you know, firms like Ford, GM, Daimler, BMW, Nissan, uh, Toyota, Audi, Lucid, Honda, Jaguar, Tesla, 
so they're they're involved tesla was a small deal but you know the bigger deals tend to be on this side but you know they're 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 winning awards with bigger firms so they're you know they're doing a lot of uh applying to auto manufacturers uh and here you know if you look at their earnings if you look at this you could see the need the need for better supply chain visibility to take control of supply chain adjusted operating income margin it went from 7.5 to 3.7 in 2020 and they say it's largely due to the covid pandemic they expect to be at eight percent in 2023 okay great um here adjusted net earnings it went from 227 in 2019 down to 058 driven by the pandemic uh, operating cash flow 508 in 2019 down to 358 in 2020 driven by the pandemic year-to-date sales i mean that's good yeah, they hit 2.7 billion last year was 2.3 billion so that is positive if you take a look at the results here year-to-date results improved over the pandemic induced lows but remain below potential due to lower volumes as a result of the global semiconductor shortage and supply chain issues uh, a worse sales mix a diminished ability to flex costs given OEM production schedule volatility because everybody's all over the place. Now let's jump to Think Data's webpage real fast. Uh, we see here, you know, it's a beautiful website. They have a lot going on. Uh, very nice. They got Toronto, the CN Tower on the uh, front page. Some shout outs from the investors. If we go to their product catalog, here's where we see, you know, they have. A think data platform so they call it namura where you could uh, see data uh, with less overhead you can access the, a variety of data sources then they have data catalogs where you can be specific about what you want to look at they have a data marketplace so i guess here you could just buy specific niche things tools that allow data governance and uh, you know some other things about data enrichment metadata management if we look at their data partners, you can see that they're being fed data from different types of uh, suppliers. Uh, if we look at strategic partners, they're in, they're partnered with IBM. Uh, let's look at their technology partners. Tableau, Power BI, Salesforce, uh, Watson. Uh, okay, so Watson might be the Palantir connection here because Watson and Palantir have a partnership. That's IBM. Uh, tech tools. So they use a variety of tech tools. Uh, data integration tools. Ooh, Palantir is not here yet, but they got Alteryx, Clover, Talend, uh, database tools, Google BigQuery, AWS Redshift, cloud storage, Google and Amazon. So I think uh, ultimately they're going to update their page soon to include Palantir. As you can see, this is just the beginning of a partnership. It's an eight million dollar deal to just. Get them working on things to cover overhead to cover salaries uh palantir foundry obviously is not going to cost a thing for palantir so that's pretty much it for this news release i have nothing more to add except palantir is officially taking steps into canada uh you know there's a lot to manage a lot of reputation management is a big thing here so it's important that palantir does it in a positive way in a way that showcases improvement uh, in an innovative way as opposed to you know being involved directly with helping canada solve its healthcare issues and the healthcare crisis that we're dealing with you know because if they got involved in that god knows everybody's going to be coming out of the woodwork saying oh you know palantir is suddenly you know doing things with your healthcare data you know like 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 we saw in the uk so they have to take baby steps and make their way into canada and make their foray into canada so it's nice to see and i'm excited to see where it goes because i know that we have so much improvement to do in the healthcare sector with how dollars are being deployed especially with how covid has brought out to light the major issues the major backlogs we have with staffing with beds with you know, surgeries being delayed cancer surgeries being delayed so i am so looking forward to the day to hear that palantir is involved in the healthcare sector all right so if you like what you heard hit the subscribe button hit the like button leave a comment i am so so happy that i went from 22 subscribers 10 days ago to 200 subscribers that's huge so thank you so much uh, and uh, let's stay in touch